YouTube world, hi YouTube subscribers. Um, I want to make another video of a shopping haul that I did. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, so for those of you who followed my channel, you know that I love um, shopping and I love doing hauls and I am shopping on a budget like many of you guys. Um, so this haul I'm going to be doing is um, a haul I did at Walmart. I'm going to probably try to put up another haul video um, probably tomorrow. If I don't get to it tomorrow, I'm going to put it up next week of a haul I did at a store called Steinmart. Um, which I've never heard of that store before um, until my um, grandma-in-law, I guess, came here and she showed me that store and I really like it. But anyway, so stay tuned um, for this haul. If you shop at Walmart, I'm going to show you some cool new stuff that they have um, that I purchased there. I feel like when I go to Walmart, it's kind of like when I go to Target. Um, and what I mean by that is it's like a vortex where you kind of get sucked in and you wind up spending at least like, in my case, I usually wind up spending close to $200 every time I go there just because, um, it's very convenient. Uh, they have food, they have clothes, they have kitchenware, like bathroom stuff, everything. So, just like when I go to Target, um, I can't leave there without, like, my grocery cart full. Um, let me know in comments below if you guys have the same problem. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys, um, what I bought recently there. Um, some cool new stuff they have. Some very cute clothes that they have. Um, and also, uh, if you stay tuned at the end of the video, I just kind of wanted to tell like a little two stories about my recent Walmart shopping experiences. If you're not interested in the story, that's okay. You don't have to watch till the end. But for those of you interested, you can fast forward to there or just keep watching. Okay, so like I said, usually I spend around $200 whenever I go to Walmart, um, close to that. So I feel like and let me show you guys like all the stuff I've been getting recently. So I kind of laid it out on the bed like I have done before for other hauls. Um, just ignore my cat. He likes to interrupt my videos. But anyway, there's some more stuff. Um, and the first thing I want to show you guys, I it's actually not in this room because it's too big. So... Um, I find that Walmart has gotten a lot better over the years. I feel like competing with Target and like Amazon, I feel like they've upped their game as far as like clothing and home decor. So this is something that I got recently, which I love. Um, ignore the mess, but um, I got this rug here for <clears throat> the dining room. And it matches another rug I got a while ago that's also black and white. So anyway, um, it goes really good in the dining room. This rug was like, I want to say like $55, but it's a huge rug. Um, let's see if I can show you guys real quick. <clears throat> so I really like like black and white type of stuff for style so let me, sh let me get a wide angle picture just a second because I feel like that doesn't do justice as far as like seeing what the rug looks like sorry okay so this is the rug Hopefully you guys can see that. So it has like this cool design. Um, you see that kind of a lot on rugs nowadays. I'm sorry, my, my camera skills are not the best, but hopefully you guys can see that. 
Okay. Anyway, there's another one of my cats. I don't know if you could see it or not. But yeah, like, I just love black and white stuff. I think it looks very glamorous. It goes with anything. So I got that rug there. <clears throat> like I said, it was only like $55 and it's a huge rug. It's like, I want to say it was five by seven. So that was a good price. Um, okay, and then speaking of home decor stuff, they recently have this line that's called Hotel Luxury and I kind of love it. It's a little more expensive, but I feel like the quality of the items are worth it. So instead of buying like bathroom towels every year, like if you get the bigger towels that are like this one that are 30 by 60 inches, I feel like they don't shrink, shrink as fast and their texture is a lot softer, a lot fuller. I feel like it's worth it to spend double the price because they will last you for double the time. So I got this one. It's um, that hotel style brand and um, it matches, like we have a lot of gray in this house. So it matches that. I also got them in teal and they're big towels. They were like $11 each, um, which to me is worth it versus buying $5 towels that are really cheap and are going to shrink and you're going to need to replace in a year. Those will last you at least a couple years in my opinion. So another thing I got with the Hotel Luxury or hotel style, whatever it is, is I got these bathroom rugs. They're gray. So they go, of course, in this house. And they're, like, super soft, very thick. Um, these ones were $20. But because they're such nice quality, I tried to get um, a cheaper rug from Walmart. And I brought it home, and I realized it kind of was ugly. And, um... Like this, the quality was bad. I feel like it's worth it to spend a little more if the quality is better and if it is going to look better, if it's going to last longer. It's worth it to me, especially if you're at a cheap store. Just go ahead and buy the more expensive thing if you can, if it um, is really good quality. And then I also got... Um, sheet a uh, sheet set and um pillowcases from walmart i feel like again this is another item that has definitely gotten better um for this particular bed i got these jersey style sheets which um i've had friends who've gotten these recently too they're super affordable and they're super soft um they came with this pillowcases too and they were like I want to say it was like $20 for the set and it came with two pillowcases, um, a fitted sheet, and then an extra sheet. They stay cool, which is important if you live in a warm climate like Arizona or California. And they're super comfortable, like they feel like um, a t-shirt that's a jersey. They're the same type of material. And then I also got um, a sheet set for our master bedroom, which... Um, we have like a cream colored set. So I got these um, pillowcases and and I got a fitted sheet. I usually try to go a size up. This is just a tip I have. Um, I usually try to go a size up in sheet size from whatever bed you have. So if you have a queen, I purchase a king size um, sheet set because they always wind up shrinking over time and um, I've had sheet sets that shrink so quickly um, that it was you know I feel like I was wasting money so I bought um, king size sheets for that and then for this bed I think I went up to a queen size because this is like a oh wait no, I think I did a king size for this bed, too, because it's a queen. Um, and then that way, when you put the sheets on the bed, it's a lot easier um, as well to get them on if you go up a size bigger. That's what I always do. But anyway, this wasn't the jersey style. Um, this, like, pillowcase. 
but it was shoot I can't remember the brand I'm, try I'm trying to see here but um it was also super soft so for me like that is a huge thing is textures and especially something that you're sleeping on you want it to be super soft material um, kind of cooler material so it should say in the I'm just seeing if there's like a <laughs> sorry guys I should have been a little more a little more prepared but I just want to see hold on one second if there is here it is okay so it is better it's better homes and garden which that's kind of one of their cheaper brands but this pillowcase is so soft and what I really love about it is it has this cool like pattern I'm also really big into like patterns and stuff that's why I got part of the reason why I got that rug but um it's I feel like that pillowcase and the sheet set were also really cheap. Um, maybe like $50, but I feel like the quality was so good. It wasn't the most expensive one they had. I do remember that. But I could tell the quality was really good by the feel of it. And I liked that pattern design. So I went ahead and bought it. So if you're looking for a cheap, comfortable... Um, sheet set pillowcases I suggest you check out Walmart and see what they have they're usually a little bit cheaper than Target and I feel like their quality has gotten a lot better over the years or cheaper than Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever I did get a comforter from Walmart though that I wasn't too happy with that I actually returned um, because I'm really picky when it comes to comforters like I want something that's super fluffy and it just wasn't it was that hotel brand but in my opinion it wasn't that fluffy or anything so I wound up returning it okay and then I'm gonna show you I got these cute um, popcorn containers these were two dollars and yes they whoops sorry they are like just you know plasticky kind of material but they're pretty big and I love like the retro design. Um, our kitchen has like a bluish black backsplash, so I thought it would it goes with our kitchen. They also have smaller ones if you're looking for smaller containers similar to this. And then of course I had to get one of their DVDs. I feel like you can't go to Walmart without getting like one of their DVDs from their $5 or $4 bins. So I went and got Rango. It was only $5. Um, I still haven't seen it yet, but I've seen like parts of it and I remember it's cute. So that's why I got that. Then I got this for my friend's birthday. It says Beach Please. They have a ton of these cute like um, beach, beach bag accessories or makeup. You put makeup in them or make it into a travel bag, whatever, with like cute um, designs on them so I thought my friend would like that uh, it's kind of funny and then I also got this <clears throat> as far as electronics they have this they're called cord bites and these are to protect your cord um, when you're charging your phone a lot of times the iPhone plugins the cords will get frayed and the wiring will come through and then you have to throw them out because they're a fire hazard so I thought this would be good especially in my car because I kind of throw the wires around the bad part is I don't think the phone charger in my car works anymore because my car is so old well pretty old I bought it um new in 2006 but now it's like really old because it's 2019 so I think I might just give this as like a gift to my friend. Um, I didn't try them out yet, so I don't know how good they work, but these were pretty cheap. 
I want to say they were like five or ten dollars and then also for electronics I got these for work they come in different colors at Walmart um these are Bluetooth headphones and you guys can see them um this is like the volume to adjust it and everything uh and for pairing these were only ten dollars i thought these would be great for work and i have used them at work um because i need to have my hands free to do other things while i'm calling the pharmacy or calling labs um so i have used these they do come in handy i really like them the only negative is sometimes when i am um at work and i'm calling the pharmacy or the lab they can't hear me very well when i have these whoops oh my god i keep covering up the camera sorry when i have these sometimes the pharmacy and the lab can't hear me very well so that's one negative but as far as me i can hear the pharmacy fine um, it's also good if you're listening to the radio and you don't want other people hearing or whatever. Uh, I recommend getting these. You could probably also work out with these. Um, they're just a good set of like cheap um, wireless headphones. And they come in like white and black also. I also got this for work. Um, this is Armatron brand watch. So my watches always tend to break as a nurse. You go through watches very frequently, I feel like, because the straps always seem to break or, you know, the battery on the watch dies. And of course you need a watch um, if you're a nurse. So I got this, it was only like $10. I feel like Walmart is a great place to go for cheap watches. Um, if you're just looking for a cheap and expensive watch, they have all different kinds, all different brands, um, all different styles. So that's where I usually get my work watches. And then I also got this, um, it came in a, oh, I want to say this watch was $15. Um, and anyway, I got this. This came in a set of four, and these are like the plastic rings that you can get. So I don't like bringing my um, wedding ring to work because it has a big diamond. I've heard countless stories of people losing diamonds at work, and it's really expensive, obviously, it's a diamond. So I don't want that happening to me. Um, also, my ring is pointy um because of the unique shape so it will rip through gloves which is kind of a nightmare um if you're a nurse so i've been wearing these at work instead to show that i am married but um yeah but the these won't obviously rip a glove and if they get lost who cares so it came in a set of four um I could see this being good too if you're like an electrician or something like that just or if you're real like I don't know you lose your rings easily this is a good cheap alternative the only downsize was when I went to the first Walmart they didn't have them in my size they tend to run larger at Walmart um, just like their clothing and everything. So if you have small fingers like me, um, I had to go to two Walmarts to find one. And you could probably order them online in a smaller size, but in the stores, they only carry the larger one. So I wound up getting this size, which is a size 6, which is bigger than my ring size. But um, it works. So far, I haven't lost any of them. And this was like $5 for a set of four. It comes in... Um, it came in like pink, light pink, black, and gray, so that's kind of nice too. Um, so usually like the first store I went to, they only had sizes 8 and 10, just so that you're aware. Okay, and then some other kitchenware stuff that I got. I got these cute, like plastic drink tumblers. Um, they had a bunch of different kinds, and... I also got this kind with the flowers. 
Um, I feel like these are great for summer and uh, if you live in a hot environment like Arizona, they're great for when you're entertaining. Um, and they're really cheap. These were like $2 each, I want to say. And I like these ones with the pineapples because we have like a pineapple theme um, in our dining room. So they were really cute. I also got this cute coffee mug, which I feel like totally explains my soul in the morning time. Um, hopefully that, that isn't backwards for you guys, but it says current mood, nope. And that's pretty much how I feel before I have coffee. So I just love it. There were all these like mugs that said life is beautiful and blah, blah, blah. And then I seen this dark mug and I'm like, no, that's my soul. Finally, I found a coffee mug that uh, explains how I feel in the morning. So I thought it was funny. It was probably like a couple dollars. And I love collecting different coffee mugs. So I just like that one. Okay. And then as you can see from the bed, I got a ton of um, clothing items. But I did just want to show you a couple beauty items I got. So I got this L'Oreal um, infallible sponge or whatever. I've seen these so much in YouTube beauty videos, um, makeup videos. So I decided to give it a shot. So um, I've actually I've never bought one of these before. It had good reviews online. I did use it um, before this video on my face to do my makeup. Um, I guess I could have blended a little better, but anyway, um, I use this for my foundation, and usually I use these sponges, which are so old school, but my mom always had these growing up, and I'm used to using these. The reason why I read online people like this sponge better is because it gives more of, like, the airbrush effect, and, um, you don't usually lose as much product is what I've read on these but I've only used that one time just before I made this video for you guys so the verdict is still out on whether I like that or not it was eight dollars at Walmart um but it had really good reviews as far as makeup sponges and I feel like you don't always have to buy super expensive makeup items sometimes to look good so I just wanted to try out a cheaper one to see if I liked it first before I buy an expensive one at Ulta or whatever. Okay, so I want to show you guys um, the other couple other beauty things I got. I got these um, makeup remover wipes and the grape grapefruit um, because I have grapefruit face wash and I just like how it smells like clump cleanly to me like I love how citrusy stuff or like watermelon and cucumber smells so I'm if you watch my other videos on shopping I'm big into smells as well um I have used these and it's hard for me to kind of compare because I I don't I haven't really used a lot of face wipes in the past I'm trying to get better about oops <laughs> really klutzy guys I'm trying to get better about skincare um because I've been breaking out a lot so I decided to get those and I don't know if you guys can see but I used that the other night taking off my makeup you can see some dirt that did get removed actually I don't think I really wore makeup yesterday but this is just like sweat from like after I worked out and everything I think it did a decent job um, they do have the Neutrogena brand makeup removers. They were a little more expensive, so I just wanted to try this out first to see if I even like face wipes. And I will say I did. Um, I need to buy the Neutrogena one to compare it, but so far I did like this one. Um, I felt like it did get my face clean. I like the smell of it. It wasn't too rough on my face or anything like that. <clears throat> um, and then I got a loofah. I feel like Walmart is great for buying stuff like loofahs that are cheap. This was like a dollar. It's a big loofah. I, 
sometimes when you go to the dollar store or something they'll be selling loofahs but they're like super tiny and basically junk and a waste of money this is like a giant loofah which is how I like them and pink which I like because I'm girly so I got that um and then I also got this came a set of two these are shower caps and they do have nice elastic because my last shower cap got all stretched out so I was looking for one that had um that didn't that had a good elastic on it these ones did I want to say this was five dollars and I just think the designs are really cute on them and um, I did try it out the elastic is really good if you're looking for cheap bonnets that are cute I suggest going to Walmart um the last shower cap I got I don't remember where I got it from but the last got all worn out and my husband kept making fun of me like that I looked like an old lady with it on so I decided to go buy those so he I'll probably still make fun of me but not as much so speaking of which I got a couple of other gifts for people while I was there I'm not gonna lie the majority of the money I spent there was on me but I feel like it's always a good idea at Walmart or when you go shopping to keep other people in mind of gifts you want to get them that way you're not scrounging around the last minute you're late to parties you're late with your holidays. Just buy gifts when you're shopping. That way you have them on hand. And usually you wind up spending more when you buy last minute. And it just is less stress. So I always try to buy gifts when I'm in the store. Like I bought that one for my friend while I was there. It's always good to have like extra gift items. I feel like on hand that anybody would probably like. Um, like candles or body lotions and just inexpensive things like that that if you forget about somebody's birthday you can just grab and take with you so anyway I got this shirt for my husband at Walmart that's something that's nice about Walmart is they have stuff for men for babies whatever same reason why I like Target like you can buy everything at once so this is a Super Mario Brothers shirt and my husband and me, we're both like big gamers. We're both nerds. We both love old school games. So I know he's going to love this. This shirt was like maybe $10 if that. And what's also nice is Walmart carries a lot of big sizes. And my husband is kind of a big guy. He's tall. Um, and so they had his size there, which is nice. And... I also got him these shorts. The He doesn't have a lot of swimming trunks and we have a pool. So it's always nice to pick these up for him. Um, these were $10, guys. But I think these are so cute for swimming trunks. They got the Stars and Stripes, which my husband's a veteran. But anyway, he kind of likes like campy stuff like this. So I just knew it like and patriotic stuff so I think he will like these and the back pocket they have the, the stripes 